There are a few ways you can create new objects for the class in PHP. One way, of course, is by using the new keyword, followed by the class name. Another way is by using the new keyword with the self or static keywords, as shown in the invoice class right here. You could also create objects from the other objects by using the new keyword followed by the object itself like this. So as you noticed in the invoice class, I have this ID that I'm setting to some unique ID. Of course, this is not a real application, so you wouldn't set the ID ID this way, but just for the sake of this example, I'm using the unique ID function. Now on the index.php, we are var dumping the invoice, invoice2, and then the result of the create method from the invoice class. Let's run the code and see what we get. As you can see, we're getting three different objects, and their IDs are different. Even though they look similar, they're different, right? This ends with eb0, this is eb2, and this is eb4. Now creating new objects is good, but how can we create copies of objects, or in other words, how can we clone? an object in PHP. You might think that something like this would work where you could simply assign an object to another object and you would think that this would create a copy of the original object. But the thing is, this is not going to work. As you remember in lesson 2.16, we covered why this does not work and how variables are stored internally in PHP. In short, both invoice and invoice2 are simply symbols or pointers that point to the same object in the memory. If we change a value of any property on the invoice2 object, it will also affect the invoice object because they are pointing to the same object. So if we var dump this, and we also var dump the comparison between invoice and invoice2 using the identity operator, which is triple equal sign, and run the code, we see that they're indeed the same objects. And the identity operator results in true, and we also see that the IDs of the invoices are exactly same. To actually create the clone or a copy of the object, we need to use the clone keyword. So we would add the clone keyword right before the invoice here. And now if we run the code, Code, we see that now invoice2 is the different object and we see that the identity operator comparison returns false. However, the IDs are the same. Now, just because IDs are the same does not mean these two objects are the same. The objects are actually different, meaning that invoice and invoice2 variables are actually pointing to the two different objects in the memory. The properties are the same because clone shallow copies all the properties from the invoice object and therefore it copied the ID property with its value. Value. So that's why they have the same value, but they're actually two different objects. And we confirm that by using the identity operator comparison. Now, this might not be ideal when you're cloning an object. Maybe you want to assign a different ID number when you're creating a new object by cloning the original object, right? The good news is that PHP has a magic method called underscore underscore clone, which gets called whenever an object is cloned. So you can hook into that magic method and perform any cleanup or anything that you need to do after the object has been cloned. So if we switch over to the invoice class here, let's get rid of this create method. And here we can add underscore underscore clone and we can simply duplicate this code. And in this case, duplication is fine, but in general, instead of duplicating, you would maybe extract this into another method that generates invoice ID and then call that method to generate the ID for the ID property. But this is fine for now. Now, as you notice, the constructor did not get called when we use the clone keyword, right? Otherwise, if the constructor was called when we cloned the object, then the ID would be assigned to a new unique ID. So when you're cloning the object, the constructor does not get called. Instead, the clone magic method gets called. So you can reassign some properties here, or maybe you want to remove the values from some of the properties, or even assign some values to different properties and so on. Now, something to note is that the clone magic method gets called on the instance of the cloned object after the object has been cloned. So if we run the code now, we see that the ID of the cloned object is now different from the ID of the original invoice object. We can also simply add some var dump here that this is calling construct, and then we can add the same var dump here that this is calling clone. And if we run the code, we see that construct gets called once and clone gets called once. So as I mentioned before, the constructor does not get called when you're cloning an object. This is it for this video. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my lessons, please give my videos thumbs up, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.